heads of diplomatic service, the young people who are celebrating today, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to be the keynote speaker this morning at this very important occasion. And I'm delighted that Nigeria has made it a priority to recognize how important our youth are in nation building. I have a short presentation and I've been given 10 minutes to share my thoughts on this very important topic of youth and entrepreneurship. I'll start off by saying that Nigerian youth are a huge demographic, but demographic force. We know how large our population is. In spite of the numbers, which are equivalent to the size of many countries in Africa, our youth are largely unskilled, but energetic and creative. They can be a force for good and a force for evil. In 2010, when the British Council conducted the sur survey called Next Generation Report, they asked youth whether they were happy. 85% were unhappy. 73.3% said they were stifled. 25% identified themselves first as Nigerians. Only 25%. 50% identify their religious identity before their national identity. And 45% were unemployed. So there's clearly a challenge. And our number one priority is youth. And our president and his team recognized this during the campaign. 1.8 million Nigerian youth enter the workforce every year. And yet the workforce can only absorb 10%. So what happens to the rest who sit at home? Unfortunately, they are un unemployed and un un underemployed. And this affects our national productivity, our national GDP, our political stability, and our cohesion as a country. Now, when we think about the drivers of youth unemployment, what is leading to this gap between the supply and demand of labor? First, the truth is that there are not enough jobs to absorb our young people. Our young people are unskilled, and lack experience. And I'm an employer of a lot of our youth and I find that remains a challenge. And there are numerous barriers to youth unemployment. Now we recognize that the Nigerian government has set up a lot of initiatives to support youth. And many of you are represented here. When you add up all the programs that all the different agencies have to support our youth, they only serve about 100,000 per year. When you have 35 million youth and 100,000 being served, this is clearly inadequate. Now what's wrong with all the programs? Why aren't they addressing the challenge? Number one is that they have limited scope and scale, a limited focus on the youth and how to serve them. A lot of the initiatives are not coordinated and they're very distant from the grassroots. So entrepreneurship is the key solution. Entrepreneurship enables our young people to create jobs for themselves and for others. It contributes to our economic and tax base. It drives innovation and pro provides a cohesive community. Now when we look at our structure of our rebased economy, go to the next slide, yeah. You see that agriculture is still the number one sector that can create entrepreneurship opportunities for our youth. Followed by the services sectors, construction, real estate, telecoms, and the creative sectors. And that's where we're seeing the biggest growth. A recent study by the National Bureau of Statistics showed us that 99% of our businesses in this country are still micro and small businesses. And we don't have enough businesses moving from the micro to the medium and to the large. Now I'm gonna showcase some young entrepreneurs who are creating jobs for themselves and others and who are not waiting for the government alone to do this. In agriculture, we have tomato joss. I don't know how many of you have heard of tomato joss. Started by two young Americans in Nasarawa and they're growing tomatoes and processing them. Real fruit is in Lagos. Ace Foods, which I'm part of in Ogun State. Honeysuckle in Ogun State. And these are all young people driving this. In technology, our young people are winning awards all over the world. I'm sure some of the young people can recognize Jumia and Conga that have revolutionized the way we shop. Nobody ever believed that Nigerians would buy products on the internet and it would get delivered to their homes. Mark Essien, Hotels.ng, Jason Njoku, Iroko TV, which is being watched all over the world, Simdo Shagaya, Bankala Kadozo, and the three young men from OAU who started Jobberman. How many of you have used Jobberman here? 
Give them a round of applause. They have changed the way we find jobs in Nigeria. Instead of sitting at home waiting for a job, they started a business. We have young entrepreneurs in new media and entertainment. Um, Don Jazzy is a household name. Uje Pedro of Bella Niger. Chude Jidonwan and Debola Williams of Y Niger. And then young entrepreneurs in fashion. We know of Dar Tara Durotoye, Maki O, which Be uh, Michelle Obama actually wears, our local designers. Um, and the list is, goes on. And then we have young entrepreneurs in social enterprise. And social enterprise is critical because of the theme of service, which is what the international theme of our youth uh, program is today. We have recyclers, and recyclers were started by a young woman named Billy Keys. They're going around finding all the cans and bottles that can be recycled and partnering with all the FMCGs to convert this waste to wealth. Um, and through Leap Africa, we've supported countless young social innovators through our Social Innovators Program. Slum to Schools is another award-winning social innovator going to slums and creating schools for our children. Now, this is a great time to be young and interested in being an entrepreneur in Nigeria. For the first time, we have a lot of excitement around entrepreneurship. There's global interest in Nigeria. In the last two weeks, investors have come from Silicon Valley asking me, can you show us young people who have interesting ideas we can invest in? So there's a wealth of opportunity for accelerators, fellowships, and international programs. There's also local funding business plan competitions, angel networks, investor forums, and incubators, where none existed 15 years ago. And the landscape for training our young entrepreneurs is growing. Nonprofits such as the Faith Foundation, EDC, Gen Enterprise, She Leads Africa, have stepped up to say they want to support young entrepreneurs in Nigeria. Now it's the time for the young entrepreneurs to step up and stand out. How can they do that? I want to specifically talk to the youth now. At Leap Africa, we teach that youth are leaders of today and tomorrow. Gone are the days when anybody should tell our young people they are leaders of tomorrow. When, when companies like Google and Facebook were started by 20-year-olds and they have changed the way we see the world, our young people can do the same and are already doing the same. But what do we need our young people to commit to? We need you to commit to a couple of things. The first one is a life of integrity. Can everybody say that? A life of integrity. Our president has demonstrated zero tolerance for corruption, and I believe that this value has to be infused in every young person in Nigeria. A commitment to a strong work ethic, accountability, a commitment to good, hard day's work for a, a good pay. A commitment to discipline, financial discipline, discipline with how you spend your time and how you spend your resources. A commitment to lifelong learning, as this is critical. A commitment to really putting the needs of others before our own. One of my favorite quotes is by Francis of Assisi that says, there's no, way, no use going anywhere to preach unless your walking is your preaching. And we need our young people to start walking the talk and living lives that demonstrate what they can accomplish. And we definitely need our young people to step up and take the opportunities available to them. Can we go to the next slide? Now, I just want to pause and talk a bit about what it means to be a change leader. All of us know the famous quote from Gandhi that says, you must be the change you want to see in society. And there are always problems in society. And wherever there are problems, there are opportunities for young people to start a business. Wherever there are problems, there are opportunities for young people to start a social enterprise. Not every uh, industry needs to be very attractive. If there's a problem, there's a solution. So I want our young people to start thinking about themselves as change agents who are going to drive the change we need in Nigeria. And finally, for the government, what does it take for the government to support our young people? There are a number of things that our government has to do to change the mindsets of people within the government about the opportunities available to our young people. The first one I would say is that we really need all the ministries associated with youth to work together. We have not seen this since I started working in this space for two, in 2000, which is almost 15 years. The Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Youth, the Ministry of Sports, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Labor and Productivity. 
all need to work together to streamline their programs focused on a common agenda, which is helping our youth grow businesses, helping our youth gain employment. If they work in separate silos, we'll never achieve the goals that we've set for ourselves. The second is that we need our agencies focused on the youth to become more transparent and collaborative. I don't want to use the big word corruption, but since our president has been using it, I'll use it. I'm sorry to say, but I want, I want us to be very clear that if it's about our youth, we have to ensure that there's transparency and accountability, starting from the NYSC to every single agency that has to work with you. And then the third thing I'll say is that we need to work with our state governments to create special windows at the Ministry of Trade and Investment for youth to be able to have a one-stop shop to register their businesses. It should be easy for them to register their businesses, to pay taxes, to become good law-abiding citizens who own businesses. Please do not make it difficult. And this needs to transcend down to the state and local government levels. And then the final thing is that the private sector and civil society are very important partners and they want to work with you. We already have over 200 very strong nonprofits that work in youth development. They are ready to work with you. Private sector organizations that are providing vocational training and entrepreneurship training like Nigerian Breweries, Samsung, are committed to scaling these programs up. Partner with them. And I'll end with a final quote on my last slide, which talks about vision and action. We can talk all we want today, but unless we put all the great visions that we have into action, we will not see lasting change. And this quote by Nelson Mandela captures that concept. And I believe that if we want to change Nigeria, convert all our unemployed youth into entrepreneurs who can create jobs for themselves and for others, we have to work together. An African proverb says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. It's time that we start going far in Nigeria, and it's time we go with others. Thank you very much.